530. A space to accomplish your dreams. The concept behind a local flex office space that's giving local minority owned businesses a chance to succeed and inspire. Speeding, reckless driving, and deadly crashes. The safety changes already made on one busy stretch of South Florida Road and how you can help plan the future. Well, we've talked a lot about real estate growth in South Florida. The flex office space sector is also booming. In fact, a report from Commercial Real Estate Services is finding 86% of companies out there plan to use flex space as a strong alternative to those traditional leases. For more than 100 black business owners and nonprofit CEOs, it goes beyond the walls, really. Flex space on Blessed Boulevard is a village. WPTV News Channel 5's Arthur Mondale shows you how it is rebuilding black wealth. We call this the growth environment. Paula Brothers, co-owner of Cakes Etc., isn't talking recipes at this hour. She's got paperwork to fax out and contracts to add up. We're like 10 more contracts by January of 22. In the next suite? This is your, we call this administrative space. And down the hall in another? The only thing you guys need to be thinking about is what is your goal and how you're going to get there to accomplish it. AV preeminent rated attorney Michael Pike is talking law and career aspirations with a group of soon to be taxpayers. It's great to dream, right? But at some point in time, you're going to realize you're better at something than you are at another thing. Michael knows the importance of early intervention. Success is rented. And the reason it's rented is because it needs to be repeated. We have to be our own community stimulus package. And it's the same type of intervention and package Chandra Stringer provides at Inspiration Station and its subsidiary, Blessed Boulevard. You know, it's a holistic business service center from beginning to end, from marketing to website building to graphic design. Stringer, who has decades of experience in consulting, both in the for-profit and non-profit sectors, says she's doing her part to restore black wealth. Doing extra charges on loan, business loans where they were not affordable, so they could not borrow money to, you know, to utilize their business to grow. Stringer is referring to policies and practices that economic scholars have done a lot of research looking at. That's, it's just, it's just the truth. This Brookings report shows just how large the gap is. Black codes during the Jim Crow era between 1880 to the 1960s limited opportunities for black advancement in the South. And black Wall Streets were burned or chased out. The review of black political economy shows by the 1960s, blacks were given 3.6% of government bonds, farm and business equity. And the gap just kept widening and widening and widening. The numbers show it's widened, but attitudes in some black communities have also spread. Our biggest hurt is collaboration. And Stringer says that's part of the reason some black businesses fail. The lack of social capital. It is stressful. It is unfair. A lot of things happen that we cannot can control. And so, so when we make it, we're afraid to share with somebody else because it took us so long to get there. Blessed Boulevard has also launched the mobile enterprise of Sherwin Foster. This is not capitalistic. This is communal. He's also crossing state lines. Oh, it has grown tremendously. Now we're doing online ordering. From every spectrum of a business operation, they've come through these doors. Hashtag the village. And no milestone goes unrecognized in this village. In addition to a weekly marketplace. It's pretty much an investment in us. It's almost like family coming together in a backyard. There's also community involvement and recognition. Rapper Kitty London received the Trailblazer Award for her contributions locally and internationally. Anyone can own a business, but we don't know how to run a business unless we properly go through the right channels. And Blessed Boulevard gives you that knowledge. Take it and run with it. Now, Stringer calls herself the business midwife, who's going to, quote, die empty. She's committed to using the space to make up for lost opportunities and time. Arthur Mondale, WPTV News Channel 5. Research.